Hello and welcome back to another Essendon Royals Season 2021 preview. Today we're talking to our senior women's coaches, Minero and Mick Giacomi at the Metricon Hampshire 54 Display Home. This video is brought to you by Assembly Ground Cafe in Essendon. Well, welcome Minero and thanks for joining us today to have a chat about the senior women's team. Thank you, thank you for the invitation. I'm very happy to be here and, uh, to talk about soccer, talk mm -hmm. about the, the girls in the, the season. It'll be great. Fantastic. So, um, tell us a little bit about how long you've been in Australia for. So, you've only recently moved to Australia, is that right? Yeah, um, yeah I've lived here, my family and me, around one year. We came uh, in 2nd January 2020. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a big change for us. You know, but even we are very happy to be here. I talk uh, very often with my family yeah. to talk about the situation, how they feel. It. Yeah. And uh, we are very happy to be to be here. Fantastic. So new new country, uh, new club, coaching women's soccer. How have you found the the new lifestyle here for you? Yeah, that's just everything new for me. And uh, it's a big change. But I'm I'm very open to learn. Very open to see how work the things, especially here in Australia. And, uh, but I'm very confident about this first challenge, about this first season with the women, mm -hmm. and uh, have good feelings for the season and for the future here. Fantastic. And, and how has pre-season been going? Because obviously, you know, you've you've come in with a, a squad of players that was assembled by another coach, Mick, who who you know. Um, most of the players have, have come back, so how have you found the pre-season and getting everyone ready for a new year? Yeah, uh, I have a little bit late to start to organise the things, to know uh, exactly the girls, uh, mm -hmm. to know how work exactly the, the, the league here. Mm -hmm. But after that, we start to build the squad and uh, know better the, the girls and I have a very good background and support behind me, mm -hmm. Mick, Michelle, uh, Rachel, you mm -hmm. and then uh, very make my job very easy yeah and I have my focus only to share my experience and uh, try help the girls to give better uh, improvement for the themselves and for the season yeah and obviously Mick uh, is helping you out as a co-coach as well so what's he sort of brought to the table and how has that sort of role helped you uh, do in your role yeah that Mick uh, support me a lot Especially because he speaks very fluent yeah. English <laughs> and he's a very important person in the club as well. And then uh, I think this is a very good combination for for the women. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we can support each other. And uh, till now it's working very, very well. I'm very happy to, to have Mick support me. Yeah. And uh, some chat with the girls. Uh, they are very happy as well. Fantastic, and and obviously you've got amazing playing experience uh, in you know the top flight in Brazil with the national team, in the Premier League, and, and obviously in the Bundesliga as well. What what are you trying to impart on the girls? What what knowledge are you trying to give the girls from your experience as a player? Yeah, um, each day is different. I still learn and look for the situation, and uh, uh, I talk with some person around is. Play is totally different to teach someone mm -hmm. about how works soccer. It's very complex yeah. thing, but the girls is uh, uh, they are very open to learn, very open to to see how can I share with uh, with her to improvement the skills and uh, things in, on, on the soccer on the field, mm -hmm. and uh, the girls make my my job very easy as well. That's good. I'm very very confident for the season. Uh, Step by step, and, and slowly we grow in, and I'm very confident about it. Yeah, brilliant. And and which of your former coaches do you think you you'd like to emulate as as a coach yourself? Like, what 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 what, what coach that you played under do you want to try and, and be like as a coach? Uh, I have some <laughs> uh, coach, uh, but uh, every coach have good things to to teach and bad things that you have to get yeah. up. <laughs> But uh, I try to uh, know better each, each player, you know, how can I, how can I improve individually each, mm -hmm. each in, uh, player to have the best uh, 
performance on the field for each one because yeah. people are different people have different reaction reaction mm -hmm. and I have to know better the people if you want to get more uh, important skill for I think sure. as a team leader. So as a coach you think you should be working more with the individually as well as the, the yeah, squad I, I overall? Have, my first step is to know better individually the, yeah. the girls and then look for the performance on the field and then to, to start think how can I build a squad, strong squad for the season mm -hmm. and a strong, um, strong team, strong squad and work as a team teamwork this is my first step to build the in this group and if yeah. i can ask you a little a few questions about your playing experience and, and your playing days um who obviously you know you're, you're well remembered for the goal you scored against liverpool uh, <laughs> in the club world cup final you probably get asked about this every time you have to do an interview but what was that night like and and obviously you know sao paulo is a club that you played a lot of games for so so what was what did it mean for you to score that goal for that club against that opposition as well Okay, yeah. Uh, it was, I think, the top for my career as a, soccer, a professional soccer player. Yeah. And, uh, as, as a, a dream. To yeah. Get a dream. Uh, but Sao Paulo is a special club for me. I have my heart uh, about the history and the time that I had been there. And especially to have a chance to score this goal against Liverpool. This is a fun spot for, uh, point for my my career but uh, as, uh, as I told you uh, for me the most important thing is, is to start work as a, as a team not individually yeah. even if, if I have some um, success yeah. if I have a good and brilliant moment in my career my focus always is to build a, a strong group mm -hmm. because soccer is about group not about the individual yeah. uh, uh, person but sometimes you need uh, individual skills individual talent yeah. but uh, the most important thing for me is to build a, a strong squad yeah and obviously another squad that you played in that was probably more known for its strength as a squad as opposed to the individuals was the national team that you won the Copa America with um, what was that what was that squad like because going into that tournament you know Brazil probably wasn't fancied as, you know, the, the Brazil of old, um, but you still went on to win the tournament. So what was that success like and what was it like being in that dressing room? Uh, I was in the Copa America 2007. Yeah. And this is a, it's a new, probably a new group with different players. Mm -hmm. And uh, people were about uh, some depth about this team, it had not so famous player into the group yeah. and uh, this Copa, especially in this Copa America we lose the first match against Mexico I think against Mexico and the people say oh this team is the worst <laughs> 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 cannot go further with this team but uh, after the, the first match we talk and uh, we support each other and say oh people don't believe in us but we have to do something to to change the situation, to change the mind for the people and do as well for ourselves because uh, we are professional players, we are represent our country we have to do something different yeah. and so after the second match uh, everything changed and uh, start uh, show our face, our skill and uh, step by step and slowly go to the final, semi-final uh, we won against Uruguay, mm -hmm. penalties, then against Argentina in the final. Argentina is the big yeah. level and I was <laughs> not favorite in, in this match, but we won 3 0, and that was the best response when I uh, was a player yeah. that you can uh, give for support for our family and people around yeah. and uh, it's a big lesson for us to, to never give up and always uh, do your best this is the best way to try to go further fantastic and obviously yeah so, ne so now moving into coaching um, what, what, what's, uh, what's been the most enjoyable part about moving, moving into the coaching role? the most important thing that I'm, I'm have learned is about to, to be open very open to <coughs> 
to accept the things and to to see how work the things and mm -hmm. to learn. This is never uh, be close any one idea and to not, not listen person around you, not listen ideas around you. I think this not work. Mm -hmm. This don't work. And uh, I'm very open to to listen person, to listen what's going on, and then take a, a decision. This is it's my my way mm -hmm. that I have learned in my life. Uh, listen and then take a decision. Fantastic. Well, Minero, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing a little bit about yourself and uh, obviously your new journey with the women's team. Okay, thank you very much again for the invitation and uh, thank you for your wish for the season for women's team.